you want to be a mobile application developer but you do not know from where to start then today's discussion is for you i develop ios and android application over 10 years both native way and hybrid way i created my own business based on mobile application i did some freelance works and worked for some company for some contract job to develop mobile application so i can give you a overall picture that how to start career in mobile application development i still believe that if you want to start your career in mobile application development at first you have to choose the right platform that which one you like either ios platform or android platform if you choose ios platform then learn swift programming language if you choose android platform then learn kotlin programming language and then try to learn some advanced features on those programming language when you understand that this programming language then you can develop some apps but learning a language will not make you a apps developer you have to learn some fundamental and advanced topics in either android platform or ios platform there are many things you need to learn so i strictly suggest you that don't select both platform at once if you want to expand your skill or want to explore other platform then you can select the other platform to learn and explore so when you learn enough knowledge for a particular platform then develop some of your apps it doesn't matter that whether you need to make a totally unique app nowadays it is impossible because whatever your idea is you will see that kind of app either in google play store or apple app store so totally making unique app is not so easy at this stage i suggest you try to select any app any small kind of app try to uh, write some features and try to think that how you can improve that features and make your own apps after making your own apps from start to finish then deploy it either in google play store or apple app store because it is very helpful when you apply for jobs or freelance works and in most cases potential employers want some experience that you develop some apps or you have some apps portfolio either google play store or apple app store so once you learn one platform suppose ios platform and you want to expand your skill at least a bit then you select the other platform so if you start your uh, learning in ios platform then learn android platform and a bit kotlin programming language and try to start one or two small apps so that you can get some idea that how this both platform works so at this point you can ask me why i need that it's basically up to you if you want to work very big company they have dedicated ios or android developer so if you are if you want to expand your skill on one platform and you want to say that i am an expert ios developer or i am an expert android apps developer then you do not need to learn other platform but if you target that medium to small companies or startup companies or even if you want to do freelance then you need both platform knowledge and let me tell you why you can tell me that okay i can select react native or flutter to develop application for both platform then why i need to native application development experience on both platform so the reason is if you do not know how an application works in android or in uh, ios platform when you learn react native or flutter in sometimes in some situation you may face some difficulty for example when i was developing an application using flutter framework i found that there is a problem that the third party library is not working for ios platform but i know how to use swift programming language or objective c programming language so i fix the thing after downloading that code in the native way and then the things work so in your life you can face this kind of situation so at least you need the basic understanding of both native platform then when any difficulty comes when you use react native or flutter application framework to develop cross platform app you can solve the problem or or if you cannot solve the problem at least you can express the problem to your employer that yeah this is the problem is happening i cannot fix it i need or we need a dedicated ios or android developer so to tackle that kind of situation you should 
learn both iOS and Android platform. It will really help you in your career. So anyway, this is my personal experience. I still believe that you should learn the uh, native application development first and then you should go for the hybrid. But if you are too hardy, you do not have that kind of patience to start native application development or maybe you are a web developer, you want to do some small kind of apps or medium kinds of app for your potential employer or client. In that case, maybe you can skip the native application development part. You just learn the React Native or Flutter application framework to create a app for your potential employer or client. So it's totally up to you. So that's enough for today. I hope you will get some idea that how to be a mobile application developer from the beginning. And if you like this discussion, you can give me a thumbs up. If you do not like this discussion, maybe you can write your suggestion in the comment section. So thank you for watching and keep learning.